With soft trains, we operate in hyper-realistic environments. We want to recreate the training situation to be as realistic as possible. And when our forces hit the ground, they're going to conduct it exactly like we would in the real world. And places like AWA give us that opportunity to train to standard. If you look at our theater of operations right now, whether it's Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, we are almost always going to fight as a joint combined force of some kind. special operations or a special forces soldier, they should be able to read the environment, uh, be able to digest it and, and really act rapidly um, in order to come up with a very uh, a risk prudent and uh, valid course of action. It's extremely beneficial both for conventional and soft forces to seek opportunities to exercise that interoperability before crisis and before conflict because we know when conflict happens we will work together on the battlefield. Now is the time to, to do it and train it and prepare for that eventuality.